what team the fantasy football season. And he has a few running backs I would drop this week. The first guy, Boston Scott of the Philadelphia Eagles. So Boston Scott, he's looked good over the last month of the season for the most part. But right now, in that ball game at the New York Jets in Week 13, he didn't see the field at all. And he was active in that one. So right there, that's a tough one for Boston Scott owners. And I know I started him in one league and got the old goose egg. So right now, he's only 41% of fantasy leagues. But the way that game went at the Jets, they didn't use him. Mario Sanders looked good, even though he tweaked the ankle. And Kenneth Gainwell had a good ball game as well. So right now, he's just a running back I can't trust. He's going on by week, and he's in the easy RB to drop this week here, Scott. I know he's had a couple games over the last month, but right now, they're few and far between. So I would drop Boston Scott this week. The next running back, I would drop Kenyon Drake of the Vegas Raiders. So Kenyon Drake's out for the season with a broken ankle. And obviously, it didn't look good when he got carted off in that ball game in Week 13 versus the Washington football team. So his season's over, and he was pretty decent and showed some flashes with the Raiders. But anyway, over the last few weeks, he was probably droppable as it is before this injury. Week 11 versus Cincinnati, five carries, 23 yards, a catch for six yards. Week 12 at Dallas, seven carries, 25 yards, two catches, five yards. And week 13 versus Washington, a catch for eight yards with two rushing yards before he went down with injuries. So right here, broken ankle. We don't know what his role is going to be next year. So see and keep elites. There's no reason to keep Drake. And he'll be a guy that's going to be dropped a lot this week. And the third and final running back I would drop this week is Alex Collins of the Seattle Seahawks. And Alex Collins, he might have lost his starting job over there, majority of the carries. And right there, that backfield is a mess over there in Seattle. We've seen Chris Carson out for the season with the next surgery. And then in that ball game in week 13 versus the Niners, we saw a lot of guys get touches. We saw Homer. We saw Peterson get a goal line touch. We saw... Rashard Penny have a decent workload, and even DJ Dallas. So four guys they were using in that game in Week 13, and it's just a mess over there. And Collins ain't 100% right now, even though there's reports he's probably going to play in Week 14 with the abdominal injury, but I can't trust him. And the numbers haven't been there. Week 10 at Green Bay, 10 carries, 41 yards, a catch for eight. Week 11 versus Arizona, 10 carries, 36 yards. And week 12 at Washington, 7 carries, 14 yards, a catch for 13 yards, and a fumble loss. So right here, good matchup on paper in week 14 at Houston. But I'm just not interested pretty much at anyone in that Seattle backfield. And I'm definitely not going to start them, especially if you're trying to get into the playoffs or lock up a bye week in your fantasy week. So that's a few running backs I would drop here for week 14 of the fantasy football season.